In this video, we will discuss uh, the very important component of the vehicle which provides us the smooth and comfortable ride uh, while driving the vehicle. So I think you got the right point. I am talking about the suspension system used in the vehicle. So in this video, we will discuss the different type of suspension system used in the vehicle. Suspension is a, a complete system of component. Different different components are there in the uh, suspension. So this complete system connect the vehicle or the frame to the wheel. Actually, the, the suspension system it is connected with the frame, uh, axle, and the wheel. In the vehicle, uh, we use the suspension system at the uh, front side and at the rear side as well. So we have the front axle and the rear axle. Likewise, uh, we use the on the both the end we use the suspension system to get the complete comfort uh, vehicle control and ensure uh, passenger get the comfort and the safety. So suspension system plays a very important role in the vehicle to get the comfort ride. Uh, like uh, it absorbs the shock and the vibration uh, coming from the road surfaces like uh, if the car is passing over the bumps and path hole at that time the suspension system activate and it will uh, absorb the shock and the vibration so that vibration and the shock it will not transfer to the complete vehicle body or to the passenger so the passenger will not feel the vibration and the uh, shock during the uh, passing the vehicle or the bumps and path hole. Suspension system always ensure that uh, the tire makes the contact with the road surface so that will get the good stability and vehicle control and the suspension system it act as a load distributor like as I said it is connected with the frame and it is connected with the axle and the wheel so it act as a load distributor this system provides us the complete safety by ensuring the proper uh, controlling of the vehicle proper handling of the vehicle and the maintaining the contact of a, a, a tire with the road surfaces so overall the suspension provides the comfort and maintain the uh, stability of the vehicle suspension system actually categorized uh, based on the how the wheels are connected and move relative to each other so we have the dependent suspension independent suspension and semi dependent suspension so this uh, we have the different different type of suspensions available so different performance we will get comfort and handling we will get based on the type of the suspension like in the dependent suspension actually it is uh, suitable for heavy duty and off road application due to the high loading capacity and robustness so in the dependent suspension so uh, the suspension is a rigid axle suspension or we can say a rigid suspension under this dependent suspension this rigid axle suspension will come like in that you will uh, get the coil spring or the lip spring options and the dependent suspension it means that the both the uh, wheels are dependent on each other in independent suspension actually it is uh, prefer or suitable for passenger car and high performance vehicle due to the uh, proper comfort and the handling under the independent suspension like uh, the types are multi link suspension macpherson suspension trailing arch suspension double wishbone suspension and air suspension most of the times so in the vehicle you will find the independent suspension because of the uh, you will get the proper comfort and the handling and the semi dependent suspension uh, actually it is a balance uh, between the dependent and independent where we require the uh, actually comfort and the heavy loading also at that time the semi dependent suspension actually use so under this category the torsion beam suspension will come okay semi dependent suspension it is uh, suitable for compact and mid size vehicle the rigid axle suspension is actually called as a solid axle beam axle suspension also uh, and it is used in a, a heavy duty vehicle and off road vehicle because it withstand the maximum load and it is uh, not ideal for the high speed driving or the sharp turn because this suspension causes the vehicle to roll over during the hard corning and you can see over here uh, the uh, component of the rigid axle suspension like a complete uh, one uh, axle beam is there uh, we can have the lip spring or the coil spring 
and then the shaft absorber and the control arm some linkage are there so this suspension provides the uh, good strength and it is cost effective and durable so the example of the uh, this suspension using the vehicle like a jeep wrangler a ford f-150 old model a toyota land cruiser and land rover defender in the classic model this type of suspension actually used in truck commercial vehicle uh, off-road vehicle and some suvs next type of suspension is the multi-link suspension so this one is the advanced type of independent suspension system where we are using the multiple linkage with the uh, spring here you can see so and the bushing and the joints and uh, we have the spring and the shock absorber so these are the some component of the uh, multi-link suspension so here we are using the multiple linkage to connect the frame and the wheel so this type of suspension actually commonly used in the luxurious vehicle or the higher end vehicle so this suspension and uh, multi-link suspension is used in the luxurious vehicle high performance sport car modern suv and the crossover and higher end sedan so the example of multi-link suspension used in the vehicle like in the bmw 3 series audi a4 honda accord and mercedes benz e-class next type of suspension is a macpherson suspension so this suspension is a very compact and having the less component like a stud assembly a lower control arm and the steering knuckle and the here you can see the damper and the spring macpherson suspension commonly used in the modern vehicle uh, particularly in the front suspension it is used where the affordability and the space are our important consideration so it provides the compact design uh, good ride quality and the space efficient the application of macpherson suspension you can see in the passenger car compact and mid-size vehicle and some suvs and crossover the example of macpherson suspensions are like in the ford focus toyota corolla honda civic and the Volkswagen golf next type of suspension is a trailing arm suspension so this type of suspension are commonly used in the rear suspension but also we can see in the front suspension setup as well so here uh, the wheel and the frame of the body are connected by the uh, trailing arm the component of the trailing arm suspension are like a trailing arm and a rear axle bushing joints and spring and the shock absorber so these are some uh, minor changes are there and rest of the things will be the same like a spring shock, a shock absorber bushing joints so these are the some common components in of the suspension system like but uh, but depends on the type of the suspensions few components will be changed but the working principle will be same so this suspension provides the simple structure and the provides the good strength the trailing arm suspension actually suitable for a vehicle that requires the durability and the load carrying capacity like in the off-road vehicle and the heavy duty vehicle the application of trailing arm suspension like in the trucks and suvs and some sport cars next type of suspension is the double wheel going suspension so here you can see in the picture uh, there are two arms upper arm and the lower arm generally we call it as a uh, wishbone shape arm so uh, here the components of this suspension include the uh, ball joint shock absorber and the spring and the anti-roll bar so this suspension actually used in the high performance sport car luxury vehicle and uh, some suvs and the crossover so here you can see the example of this uh, double wishbone suspension used in the vehicle next type of suspension is the air suspension so this one is the advanced suspension where we are using the air spring instead of uh, lip and the coil spring so this type of suspension is uh, valued for its ability to adapt the different driving condition and enhances the right comfort so uh, it be this system actually behaves depends on the road condition and uh, we will get the comfort ride and the good driving experience so this type of suspension air suspension actually used in the luxurious vehicle uh, suvs and the trucks and high-end sport car and the commercial vehicle and you can see the example here next type of suspension is the torsional beam suspension we can call it as a torsion beam suspension or the beam axle suspension it is a type of uh, rear suspension system commonly used in the passenger car and used specially in the uh, economy and the compact car segment so this personal beam uh, suspension actually the cost effective and the provide the simple design and it is used in the economic uh, car compact vehicle and some suvs and the crossover 
so friend we have covered uh, all the type of suspension uh, i hope uh, you like the video so thank you for watching uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design Adda. so thank you for watching keep learning and keep growing